Good evening everybody. I hope you're all well. What a beautiful day it has been today. Oh, the sun has been shining but there was a nice breeze too, wasn't there? So no matter what you did, maybe some of you may have had some V-Day celebrations, maybe? Well, if you did, I hope you had lots of lovely treats to eat and you had a really lovely time with your family. So I'm just going to shout out to Jill because she'll have Reuben and Jacob there. Hi boys, hi Jill. And I'm going to shout out to Martin because he'll have Heidi there. Now, I've got quite a few shout outs this evening. And one of them is to little Heidi that is watching now. Because Heidi, well done and congratulations. You won our competition, didn't you, this week? Well done. So I'll be signing my book and posting it on over to you. Your mummy's already sent over your address, so that will be in the post very soon. So well done, honey. Really thrilled about that for you. And I know you've had a lovely VE Day celebration because I saw the lovely pictures from your mummy. So I'm glad you've had a nice day. Now, let me see. Oh. Hi, is that Megan? I think so. Yes, it is. Hi. And hi to Rachel as well, with Olivia and Mila. So I've got two more shout outs. First one is to my sister, Diane. I love her lots and I'm really missing her. And I know that you'll be missing lots of your family too because we can't pop around to see them, can we? If we do see them it at a distance and we're waving to them, aren't we? Blowing hugs and kisses, it's not quite the same. But the main thing is, is that we are all very, very safe. Oh, hi Lorraine. Oh, and Heidi said thank you. We're all very, very safe and well, so that we all get through this together. That is the main thing, isn't it? Now, my next shout out, you may be wondering why I'm holding our book like this. Well, my sister Diane, that I've just told you about that I did a shout out for, mwah, got a really lovely surprise for me. Now, do you remember, I just mentioned Rachel with Olivia and Mila that won our book last week? They won our competition last week. Well, look what Rachel has done for me. And my sister Diane arranged it all. Do you want to see? It's really brilliant. Are you ready? Ta-da! How brilliant is that? Lockdown. 2020. Do you see? They're loo rolls. <laughs> Lockdown 2020 with Michi Twitch Yoga. Stay safe. How fabulous is that? I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Thank you, Rachel. And thank you, Diane, for arranging that for me. So when I do my yoga sessions next week, I'm going to wear that sometimes. Okay, because I absolutely love it. And Rachel's great at doing these t-shirts. So do you know, I'm going to put on all my social media how you could get in touch with Rachel if you wanted something like this for any occasion at all. Okay, I'll be sure to do that. So thank you very, very much. Right, are we ready? We are. Hugs and kisses out to you too, Rachel. <laughs> We're going to read our story now. It's a really lovely story. And it's called My Mummy is Magic by Carl Norak. And we've read a couple of Carl's books. I really like them. And his pictures, Ingrid Godden does his illustrations. They're always really happy and smiley pictures. I love them. Now, there's a reason why I picked this book. You know, because it's VE Day today, and when everybody had to go off to fight the battles, lots of the ladies were all left at home, but they had to do all of the men's jobs to keep everything going. 
And I was thinking about the situation we're in now. But everybody is pulling together, aren't they? And all the men and women, all of our key workers that are fighting really, really hard to keep everybody safe. So it just sort of sat right with me tonight. So that's why I thought I would read My Mummy is Magic because we have lots of, lots of magic people in our families, don't we? And in our cities looking after us all. So are we ready then? I think we'll start. Are you all snuggled down? I hope you are. My Mummy is Magic by Carl Norak. Here we go. I'm showing my t-shirt off proudly. My mummy doesn't have a pointy hat or a wand. She doesn't need things like that. My mummy is magic anyway. So there's mummy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I have nightmares, scary dreams, but my mummy chases the monsters away. That's magic. There's mummy shaking her finger. <laughs> if I whisper a secret in my mummy's ear, she guesses it before I finish telling her. Now that is really magic. When I hurt myself, my mummy kisses the sore bit and ta-da! It's all better. That's magic. See, mummy's magic kisses are always the best. But magic rubs do good too. My favourite thing is swimming with my mummy. Together, we swim as fast as a dolphin. Oh, look. Wow. Maybe you go swimming with your family too. My mummy's favourite dress is blue with little clouds on it. And when she wears it, the sky is never grey. When my mummy plants seeds, flowers always grow. Sometimes they grow even taller than me. Now that's magic. Look. Butterflies come and listen when my mummy sings. That's magic. That wouldn't happen with me. I haven't got a very good voice. <laughs> but sometimes I'm the magic one. When I sing and dance, my mummy always laughs. <laughs> do you like to get dressed up too? And do silly things like this? Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I love it when my mummy makes cakes for my birthday. She made the biggest cake ever. It was as big as a rocket. Wow. When my mummy tells me stories, my bed turns into a ship and we go on an adventure together. That's magic. We are good storytellers, aren't we? But when my mummy tells me that she loves me, that is the most magical thing of all. Oh, you see, I told you it was a lovely story. It's really, really nice. So why don't you snuggle on down? Okay, have a really good night's sleep because I think tomorrow is going to be another lovely day. So you will be able to decide what lovely things you do. Okay, so remember, what do we do? Lockdown 2020 with Mitchy Titch. Stay safe. Love you all. Night night. Sleep tight. <laughs>